Hey guys, there is a there's only there's only going spirit weather right now, but I'm not worried about that, okay? We're worried about the next uh several days, okay? So we're gonna talk about tomorrow right now, okay? There is a slight risk for parts of uh Kansas. There's a two percent chance of tornado there's a, there's a all risk possible, okay? These areas we're gonna have to watch, okay? But what I'm worried about is we got a very active weekend ahead of us, okay? We got Thursday. We're going to begin with the active weekend part. So we're going to talk about the first, the, the, day, the day four storm prediction outlook. So areas that are included in this is Duluth, Minnesota, Sioux Falls, uh, Omaha, and Des Moines, Iowa, okay? And then day five, we got an even bigger area of severe weather, okay? So we're going to talk about Dallas. Uh, Springfield, Jefferson, uh, Milwaukee, Michigan, okay? Then day six, we are talking about western Pennsylvania, southwestern Pennsylvania, Watertown, New York. So we're going to have to watch day four, day five, and day six for severe weather, okay? I'm in one of these uh, zones, that, um, so I can show you all the counties here. So I live here, okay? I'm in, at risk of potentially severe weather this this weekend, so I'm gonna have to watch out on Saturday. So, I live in a severe weather area this week, so I'm going to be paying attention very closely for my area because there's gonna be. So we're gonna read the descriptions of. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna read the first one, okay? For day four, Thursday, severe weather potential is expected to be focused across the upper Midwest. This relates to expected of an upper trough through over the northern plains and an increasingly moisture mass at. Like you develop northward across the Midwest ahead of cold fronts. Severe thunderstorms on Thursday currently appear most probable across most of the Iowa and Minnesota into Wisconsin. <clears throat> okay, day five. Here we go. A broad, warm, moist sector ahead of a cold front is promote an upper trough over the northern plains. So a broad area of severe water Midwest to Great Lakes, but then city southwest toward the Ozarks and Arkansas region. And here's where I live, okay? Here we go. On day six, Saturday, well, upstream storms will may linger early in the day ahead of a cold front. Additional thunderstorm development and intensification should occur across the upper valley and central north Appalachian Peninsula as air measure to stabilize water. Strong southwest will contribute to organized storms capable of damaging winds and some hail. So. We might be in hail territory with this storm, okay? We could have large hail with this storm. So there is a couple thunderstorms out there across the west right now. A couple storms that are still longer. I don't know how we're, we're cold front past, but we got storms. So went out after them, viewing them, suckers. So so we're just going to watch this these these current severe weather trends, okay? Let's talk about today for a little sec quick. I know a lot of people were talking about today, but today was a pretty crazy day. But we had a we have a severe thunderstorm watch. Like, so there's an enhanced risk for Philadelphia right now and stuff like that. But we're watching these storms right now. Okay, they're start, they're moving all the way to the coast. Okay, this we really wasn't impacted by this much, but you can see we actually have storms coming in again. And we didn't. And there was a cold front, so I don't understand the part of this, but we got storms coming. So, probably off of Lake Erie, probably from another system, so I don't know, but. I don't understand why, but there's that risk for these days, okay? We're watching these these days. We might have to watch for uh, next week as well, okay? Like, the 27th, we're going to have to watch for that 27th, too, okay? We're going to have to, we're going to have to watch the 27th, okay? We're going to have to watch, okay? We're going to have to watch it for now. So we are going to talk about Saturday, okay? Saturday storms look discreet, yeah. There could be a tornado threat too. I'm, I'm serious. There could actually be a tornado threat with this. I'm telling you. So there actually could be some tornado risk with this. Because look at these little green dots. Them are discreet cells, okay? Ahead of that main line of storms. But we're going to go back to the continents. And we're going to talk about something that could happen on the 27th. Yeah. We're going to see another one. It might hit our neighborhood soon. It could be even worse. But, yep, this is when we're going to talk about the 27th, okay? We have that risk of potentially severe weather on the 26th, okay? As it, it could move into the Ohio Valley like this one's supposed to move into, like the Ohio Valley. So, th these storms are going to move into the Ohio Valley and stuff. 
and it's going to produce severe weather again. So we're going to have, we're going to have one this weekend, and potentially late next week. So we're going to have to watch again. So we're in yeah. My part of the country is heading into storm season. So that's what happens. We yeah. Last couple of days in here in Pennsylvania has been an example of storm season because this morning we had storms that went through when I was in school. And stuff this morning. It was lightning and thundering. And then hours later. Hours later. A uh, storm started popping up again. Like right about now. We got some storms out towards the west of us right now. So we're going to see a couple more. So right. Not severe. But there could be gusty winds with them. So so we've been seeing it's storm season here in PA. But we haven't had. We had a slight risk a couple weeks ago. Like, early May, we had a tornado watching crap, so that tells you something, okay? And then now we're back into uh, storm season once again, and we're back into the game of severe weather. Then I got a feeling that the 26th of May is going to be another day, and the 27th is going to be another day where we have the potential of seeing severe weather. So we're going to have to watch. We're watching, and we're definitely watching this week. We're watching uh, all four days of severe weather, okay? Uh, but... I'm going to have to watch out, really watch out, because I live in, in one of these areas for severe weather. I live in one, and I live here in the, in the Appalachian Venice. I live I live in Union now, which is Pennsylvania, okay? Yeah, I'm not too far from the West Virginia, so I got a feeling that there is going to be a day eight, and the risk is going to be right, like, not here, but it could be here again, I don't know. But, like, right, like, East Coast again could get impacted. That's what I'm going to treat kind of, because the East Coast could get impacted by this. But uh, the areas that are in this risk are Watertown, Rochester, Buffalo, New York, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, uh, Charleston, and Eastern Kentucky, okay? Western, Southwestern Pennsylvania. I think this risk is going to get a little bit bigger. Oh, just a tiny bit bigger. And we're still going to be in it, but I feel like it's going to be a little bit bigger tomorrow. And it's going to still be there. So we're watching these days. We're just keeping an eye on them and keeping an eye on next week as well. We're gonna, Saturday looks like we could see some hail and damaging winds. And maybe some isolated tornadoes. We don't know yet, by the way. But we are watching out on the 26th through the 27th for another potential severe weather outbreak. We're going to have to watch this weekend and possibly into next weekend. So we're going to have to watch. It's going to be a pretty active time for severe weather here. So we're going to have to be watching this constantly. And June's looking. We're still. Severe weather season is going to end in August. But our storm season is beginning. We're getting closer to our storm season. Okay. That's what we're talking about. See, we could have storms on the 25th, like in the PA. Could have some severe weather on the 25th on Wednesday. Okay. So we're going to have to watch again on Wednesday for Saturday. Like we have to do late this week, or it's gonna, you know, the temperatures are gonna be in the nineties on Friday, so that that's gonna get pretty, it's gonna get pretty scorching. By the way, so we we are definitely watching this come out. Okay, this is our first severe cold front. It's strong, but guess what? That cold air don't even come here. Okay, it just that warm air takes right back over, so it means to set up for even more dynamic severe weather outbreaks. So we're gonna have to watch up. This okay. The 850 temperature in all of me shows that. Uh, see, look, there's that cold air. Okay, this is that severe weather we're talking about. Okay, let's check out the dew point. Okay, there's that. That's Saturday. Okay, it's just shorts. But this, the CMC extends to Saturday. Okay, it extends all the way out to Saturday. See, there's that warm air, okay? It's ticked out the two different are shaded. It's definitely warm, okay? Very warm. Look at this. This is why we got a slight risk. We have temperatures in the upper 80s to mid 80s, so very warm. And if there was humidity, it would be very muggy, like at least very muggy. So that's, it's probably like in the 70s and stuff, right? And like dew points in the upper dew point 70s in the 70s and so. So if you look at the precip, there's that. It's in the 80s, and boom, storms just explode. They're, they're not. They don't look it look real intense, but I got a feeling that they are gonna be more intense than they actually look on this model. But this ain't a real 
high definition model, but but we are talking about <laughs> severe weather. Stay tuned. I'll be checking out for another video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I just posted my short. <sighs> Got no school tomorrow, so that means a netter update coming at you. Like tonight. I'll be doing more tonight too, so I'm glad. So I might be able to post two videos in one day. So that, that's a real possibility here. So I will definitely make a longer video later on in the evening. I can tell. And. And stuff like that. So make sure you guys like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. I will be posting a 20 minute discussion on the severe weather that's going on this this weekend, late next week. So I'll be back again tonight. So stay tuned. I might even get a couple thunderstorms because they are out west. And it's crazy that we could see some storms today. And, we're, and it's not even that cold out. So it's a very big cold front. But the next cold front looks a little bit stronger. So like and subscribe.